What's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with another fan TV. Back at you on the video, the content. This video, go ahead and smash that like button on the content this channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Listen, the Ravens are coming up a disappointing uh, win. <laughs> you know, you don't say that too often, but disappointing win versus the Denver Broncos, 10 to 9. But the big news of the game, obviously, is the fact that Lamar Jackson got hurt in the game, right? So we've been kind of waiting and seeing, like, what's the news going to be? Is he all right? You know, how many weeks is it going to be? Is he going to be able to play this week? Now, Harbaugh pretty much said that Lamar Jackson is not likely to play this week versus the Steelers. They're calling it a mild knee sprain for Lamar Jackson. And it's a kind of a week-to-week -week thing. So, uh, he probably won't play this week versus the Steelers, but he could be back the following week, things like that. It's kind of a wait-and-see approach on that. Um, so, with Lamar Jackson being out, outside that elevates Tyler Huntley. Um, Brett, the Ravens also signed Brett Huntley. Looked like to be Tyler Huntley's backup. Uh, you know, he was with the team in the preseason. Ravens obviously made cuts and only really carried two quarters on the active roster. And uh, so, top, but Brett Huntley's back, and um, that's going to be probably the two quarterbacks rolling into the Steelers game. Now, for as far as Lamar Jackson goes, you know, obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because, to me, he's still this team's best option. I mean, to most Ravens fans, right? I mean, I think it's only a small segment that will even have a discussion of Tyler Huntley versus Lamar Jackson, which I don't even want to make a discussion, honestly. Uh, I'm going to root for both guys, you feel me? So Tyler Huntley's the quarterback this week. I'm rooting for Tyler Huntley to do his best. Uh, but we got to be honest that the reason that the offense is different for Tyler Huntley is not because Tyler Huntley makes better decisions or is quicker. It's because Greg Roman calls it differently, right? And it's not even the fact that the plays are even better. It's just that they're, they're shorter, right? The kind of arm talent that Lamar has, Tyler Huntley doesn't have. And that's just, you know, a very realistic and honest approach about it, right? So, obviously, the game's going to be called different. They're two different quarterbacks. Um, so, it is what it is. The frustration that I have and some Ravens fans have is the fact that the offense you call for Huntley, you can also call for Lamar and help him out, get him in rhythm, and then you take the deep shots down the field. You use the short pass the game to open up the deep pass the game instead of just being, you're going to run the ball and then throw it deep. That seems to be the only game plan the Ravens have when Lamar Jackson's at quarterback. But with Tyler Huntley on the field, it's like the game plan is, okay, of course we're going to run the ball still. Um, not as much QB stuff, but we're still going to run the ball. But uh, we're going to use short game, short intermediate game, all game. It doesn't really open up the deep game because, like I said, he's not really that um, that kind of thrower as far as throwing the ball deep, right? Now, listen, the Ravens have a very, very important divisional game versus the Steelers, and Tyler Hunt is going to be a quarterback, all right? Last time we played the Steelers, it didn't go uh, particularly well. Threw a couple of interceptions. Um, but, you know, it's a new year, right? So the Steelers defense is has a, it's not very, very good on as far as the stats go, but they still got great players. You know what I mean? They still want to have TJ Wild out there and things like that. So um I was just looking at some of their numbers for the Steelers real quick. Um in terms of yards per game, the Steelers give up really that's like 24. Yeah, they're 24. So they give up 362 yards a game, which is 24th in the NFL right now. And in terms of Points per game, the Steelers are 18th. They give up 23 points a game. So kind of middle of the pack. You feel me? So, um, but this is a divisional game. A lot of these numbers really don't matter. When you play a, a team in the division, uh, they know you, they're familiar with you, they're comfortable with you. So the Ravens uh, versus the Steelers is always a big time clash. It's always a game that's important. It's always a game that's going to be physical, no matter if the rivalry has kind of changed in the years, right? But anyway, I want to talk about Lamar Jackson, right? Um, you know, the injury. Uh, the contract here is not great, but the good thing for him, it doesn't seem like it's going to hold him out too long. Um, I know he's going to be itching to get back on the field, and um, I'm excited for him to get back on the field. Um, now, as far as the Ravens, any other news? Um, you know, Greg Roman still the OC. Nothing's happened there. Uh, like I said, they they signed uh, Brett Huntley uh, to be the backup quarterback for this week. So, all things is still the same on that front. Um, uh, I'll also put out the... the the community post about the Ravens officially that week 15 game is going to be uh, on a Saturday versus the Browns, which is which is cool, which is different, uh, interesting. So, um, listen, man, going into this week versus the Steelers, uh, it's going to be about Tyler Huntley making adjustments, uh, about playing a little bit better than he did versus the Broncos. He wasn't bad, uh, but, you know, it just, just a little bit better, right? Before we got to that last final drive, the Ravens' offense wasn't moving very much, right? You can say the decisions was quicker, whatever. The offense was still doing the same thing. They still only had three points, right? So it wasn't like, you know, he came in the game all of a sudden. 
They they, they live the scoreboard. Now, um, like I said, this is a division game. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So that's just what I'm looking forward to, man. Tyler Hunter is going to get a, a lot obviously all the time to speak with the ones to get practice in and get time down. And we're going to see what happens, man. Um, honestly, as a Ravens fan, you know, hoping for Graham to be fired or whatever. It is what it is at this point. I've said that before that I'm not going to make too many, much, too many more like videos where that's, that's the sole topic of it where, oh, Greg Roman, is he going to be here? Is he going to be gone? Just because the Ravens have made it clear that they're okay with what's happening. So if they're okay with it, I'm not going to be pushing against it, right? Uh, I might want it to go the other way, but I'm wasting my energy doing that. So that just is what it is. So the big news coming out today for the Ravens as far as Ravens related is the fact that Lamar Jackson is week to week with a mild knee sprain. Tyler Huntley is your starting quarterback, at least for this week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And then uh, Brett Huntley looks to be the backup quarterback. All right. That's the big news. Uh, Anthony Brown, uh, you know, who kind of impressed in the preseason, you know, here and there. Uh, still on the Ravens practice squad. I can say they didn't want to put him in a position where if Tyler Huntley went down, they didn't want to have him throw him into the fire and have him starting. So you get Brett Huntley, who's a little bit more, not, not a little bit, a lot more experienced. So if something was to happen to Tyler Huntley, you know, you will have a more experienced quarterback coming to the game. All right, it makes sense. It is what it is. Uh, nothing to really um, be mad about or anything like that. So, uh, but yeah, that's your Ravens news for the day. Uh, let me know what you think, guys, think in the comments. Any uh, concerns, questions, whatever about, you know, Tom Huntley with the Steelers, about Lamar Jackson, his injury. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it there, man. Uh, it's your boy Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.